It's 20 trivia questions on Harrison Ford, a crazy story about me meeting him, and the big one-year celebration of the daily edition of the podcast. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another daily edition of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out this show. We've been doing it for 365 days in a row today in the daily version. Guys, we made it a whole year. I don't think I've ever done something consistently for a year in my entire life, like every single day. So this is a huge milestone for me, and I hope it's one for you as a listener of the show. Now, if you've been listening for a long time, you know that we've been doing the show for close to three years overall, but uh, we switched the format up about a year ago. And we used to do like longer episodes, a lot more talking, a lot more guests and things like that. And uh, we'd have friends battle in different topics they were into. Then I started doing some mini episodes to do like two episodes a week. And then about a year ago, when I started my Patreon page, I was like, you know what? If I'm going to be doing this like full time as a full time trivia host, I need to do this daily. And uh, I think I'm one of the only daily trivia podcasts out there. So thank you so much for checking out this show. Thanks for telling a friend about the show. Thanks for sharing links and liking social media posts and leaving reviews on Yelp and iTunes. Man, all that stuff together really uh, gets me going and helps build this company that I'm trying to build. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we are going to get to some trivia today. There will be a lot of talking in the intro, and I'm going to tell a fun story uh, that I have not told on the podcast before, I don't believe. So uh, stay tuned for a lot of cool stuff. Uh, there are some fun milestones and statistics that I'm going to read for you now. Here's just a few of the numbers that I got for you over the last few months, okay? So we um, have hit 300,000 downloads on the show in its entirety, and uh, that is officially at 306,000 downloads right now, 306,768. And uh, we average about between like one and 2,000 downloads a day. So that's very cool. And that's grown quite a bit in the last few months. Um, here's the, the downloads so far for June. We're at 24,000 downloads for June. In May, we had 31,000 total. That was the most I've ever had, I believe, uh, for one month. In April, we had 21,000. In March, we had 17,000. So we've been on this huge uh, build over the last few months specifically. Um, I host everything with Libsyn. So there's like super advanced stats, but I'm not going to go into tons of it. I just wanted to kind of read you a few of those things. Uh, when we started the daily edition about a year ago, the very first topic we did was uh, five first lines of books. So I was doing a lot of five question quizzes early on because I didn't know how short or how long these episodes were going to be. And uh, they averaged mostly around, I would say, 10 to 15 minutes on, on the daily, on the average. And uh, the first one ever was about the first lines of books. So if you want to go back and check that one out for the first daily edition about a year ago, you can listen to that. Uh, we got some great stuff coming up for you in weeks to come and uh, some great topics written by different listeners of the show. We got some cool guests coming up and just all kinds of great, great stuff in the chamber. So stay tuned and make sure you hit subscribe so you get new episodes on your device every single day. Uh, there's new artwork. If you are downloading and listening to this show on your device, you'll notice that I changed the background color of the uh, Trivia Buds logo to orange to kind of match the summer months here and just to switch it up for a new year. So it was blue for the whole first year. And now we got it as a nice orange background to enjoy in the summertime. Uh, there's a bunch of new merch coming out, guys. I have friends at Funky Monkey in San Dimas, California, and they were showing me all kinds of cool stuff they make, like uh, beer koozies and bottle uh, koozies and hats and shirts and mugs. They can like frost glasses and things like that. They do a lot of cool work. So I am going to get some new artwork and some new designs and some new logos and things and throw them on a bunch of stuff. And uh, I'll probably randomly mail that to some people that are fans of the show. So if you want me to have your address, the easiest way to do that is to sign up over on patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Um, we could talk about Patreon a little bit too. Um, that's the easiest way to support the show monetarily if you want to help keep this show getting bigger and bigger every day. And you can donate a dollar or more to get some amazing rewards. 
and uh, you just enter your address over there and I send you stuff every single month. And we have, let's see, I'll pull that page up. And it looks like right now we have a total of, I believe it's 34 uh, patrons. Let me count them up here. Let's see what we got. Uh, and most of these people have been on for a long time. So thank you so much. Uh, let's see. We got, uh, yeah, looks like 34 patrons. So thank you to all the people who have signed up to support this show over the last year. We started the Patreon page, I think, a little less than a year ago, maybe a little more. No, I think it was a little less than a year ago. I think we've been doing it for like 10 months or so. Um, or maybe we actually we did. No, it's been over a year. We've had the Patreon before I started the daily edition, now that I'm thinking about it. So, um Thank you for signing up over there. Lots of cool stuff going on over on Patreon. And you could always join for a dollar just to get in our Discord app chat. Uh, we got some great stuff going on in there. I post different um, quizzes and different links to different uh, pop culture related things in there. So it's a fun place to go if you like being in a community of like-minded pop culture lovers. So that's over in Discord on the Discord app chat. And I send you that link when you donate a dollar or more. Guys, coming up at the end of this episode, I am going to award three patrons with um, some gifts and prizes who were uh, above and beyond. And uh, the whole year just kind of contributed to the show in different ways that I thought were awesome. And uh, stay tuned for that. Maybe you'll be one of them. Giving away three $20 Amazon gift cards for those three patrons. So make sure you listen all the way to the end of this episode to see if you won a special $20 Amazon gift card. Now, today's topic is about Harrison Ford, okay? We've got 20 questions on Harrison Ford, but why Harrison Ford? Why would I do a whole episode on the one-year celebration of him? Well, I'm gonna tell an amazing Harrison Ford story, and that's coming up in just a second, okay? It's very cool. It happened to me in this last year, just like most of the episodes of this podcast, and I think I put a written version of this story on Patreon, uh, Patreon for the patrons to read when it happened because I was so excited about it. But I decided that this was the perfect day to do some Harrison Ford trivia and tell the Harrison Ford story. So it's probably like a five-minute story. If you want to listen to that, uh, that's coming up next. If you want to jump right into the trivia, if you're not interested in that story, you can uh, check the time code and skip ahead directly to the questions. Either way, for the 365th day in a row, here we go. All right, here we go, guys. This is the Harrison Ford story. Now, I tell this story uh, consistently whenever people go, hey, like, what's the coolest thing that's happened to you in LA? Or like, what's the coolest thing you've done with trivia? I'm always like, this is it. I don't know if I'll ever be able to top this because uh, it was just a very exciting, totally random thing that happened to happen to me. So here's how it went down. I got booked on a website, I believe it was a website, called Gig Masters. And Gig Masters is a place where you can kind of list your services as like a juggler or a comedian or a, a trivia host in this case. And people can find you if they're looking for a very specific service for like a party or a company event or a fundraiser and things like that. So this lady hit me up on Gig Masters and she said, hey, my husband's turning 55. I'd like to do a trivia party for him. He's really into the Grateful Dead. Can you do some Grateful Dead questions and some other stuff? I said, sure. So got booked for this party. And I go to the party and it's up in this uh, really rich kind of Hollywood Hills area of, uh, of Hollywood. And I'm going up this canyon and I'm driving, I'm driving, and I've never been in this specific neighborhood before. And I go all the way to the top of this canyon and it kind of just ends. And I'm like, this is crazy. And uh, I get to the house and it's a nice house. And I'm like, okay. So, and there's like a caterer kind of setting up and there's a small backyard with a patio and some people on it. And I go and meet the party host and she goes oh hey ryan come on in set up and here's my husband so i go oh how you doing and uh this guy was super nice and he was very excited about this party and i said uh great to meet you uh, you must be the the big birthday guy and he goes yeah he goes uh, I'm, I'm really excited about this and i said okay are you i i, I heard you're turning 55 is everybody here about your age and he goes yeah we're all in our 50s except the old man over there and I'm like, old oh, man. So I put down my stuff and I turn to the right. And the old man that he pointed to was Harrison Ford. 
Can you believe it? I was like, oh my God. So I put my stuff down. I set it up and I'm, I don't have any service on my phone. I can't like take a picture. It'd be too close. We're too close quarters to do anything like that. And I put my stuff down and I kind of look around and I'm like, oh my God. And then I realize uh, his wife, Calista Flockhart's there. And I'm like, oh my God, who else is at this party? So I kind of keep looking around. They end up being the only super familiar faces I know. But I think there was like a writer for The Simpsons at this party. Um, I forget his name, but I remember him being super friendly and, and talking to me. And I put my stuff down and I set it up and I'm trying not to lose my cool and I'm trying not to like, you know, make a spectacle of anything. So I go into the trivia and I start the first round of trivia and I think it's on board games, which is kind of a go-to round for me when I am uh, just looking to entertain a, like any group. It's like, all right, people know board games. So I go into the first question. I explain the rules first off. So I'm like, all right, you're going to write down your answers on the th- answer sheets and um, you're going to turn them in after every round and I'll score them up and then we'll go on to the next round. And there's probably like six teams and about 30 people. And uh, Harrison Ford is on a team with like four people at a high top table that are about 10 feet in front of me. And the whole patio is maybe like, you know, 40 feet. It's very small. And uh, so I, I start going to the question and I think I said something like in the game Monopoly, you know, what, uh, how much money do you get when you pass go or something like that? Nice, easy question off the bat. And Harrison Ford raises his hand and I was like, oh my God, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> so he raises his hand and I was like, hey, I was like, uh, do you have a question? You look familiar, you know, and people kind of chuckle and he goes, yeah, I know the answer. And I was like, oh, you could just write it down with your team. And he was like, uh. Like he, he, he noticeably groaned and already hated the trivia. It's like, this is going to be crazy. So he, he writes down the answer with his team or whatever. And I go on to the next question and uh, I read it and he waves me over to the table and I'm like, I might turn around. There's just a brick wall behind me, but I'm like, uh, I, me. And he's like, yeah, and I come over to the table and, uh, I'm like, did you need something? And he goes, yeah, this is for you. And he reaches in his pocket and he gives me a hundred dollar bill. And I was like, what? what? I was just like, I didn't know what to say. I was like, oh, Harrison Ford just gave me a hundred dollar bill. I go, do you want me to have this? He goes, yeah, you drove all the way up here, didn't you? And I was like, yeah, I, I did. And he goes, uh, just make sure the birthday boy wins so we can all get the hell out of here. <laughs> and everybody at this table laughed. And I was just so starstruck. I shook his hand, I think two or three times. And, uh, I, I walked back to my little area and then other teams are like, Hey, how much did he give you? I'll double it. And they're all like yelling stuff and uh, just kind of joking around. Uh, so I have a hundred dollar bill from Harrison Ford at my house right now. And there's no way I'm ever going to spend that. You can't spend Han Solo money. You can't spend Indiana Jones money. And the coolest part about this is um, I got like a shadow box and I put it in the shadow box and it's kind of mounted like on the back uh, wall of this little shadow box frame. And my wife, Ashley, got a little Han Solo Lego figure and a little Indiana Jones Lego figure in the foreground. And we just have that on a shelf. So when people come over, they're like, what is that? What is, why do you have a hundred dollar bill frame? I'm like, that's, that's Harrison Ford money, baby. I can't, I can't spend that. That's going to be up there for Ever. So guys, that is my Harrison Ford story. Oh, and there's a little a little B story to this is a couple rounds later, I was doing a round called the Mandela Effect. And one of the questions is, what does Darth Vader actually say to Luke in Empire Strikes Back? And a lot of people thinks it, uh, think it's Luke, I'm your father, but it's um, no, comma, I am, your, I am your father. That's the actual quote. So uh, I asked that question and his team got it wrong. And everyone was giving him shit for it. They're just like, what come on, yeah? And he goes, I wasn't even in that scene, you know? <laughs> so that's a little bit of a B story. I, I had to introduce that round when I got to that question. I'm like, hey, I didn't know the full guest list when I came up with these. <laughs> and uh, it was, uh, man, it was a crazy special night. And uh, one of the coolest things that will probably ever happen to me um, and uh, he was just super friendly and a uh, fun party guest. And it was uh, he was just like 10 feet away the entire night. And I, again, had no service. So I couldn't tell anybody this story until I got down out of this canyon. And then I'm trying to call everybody. People aren't answering. I'm like, I got to tell somebody about this. So now I've told all of you on the podcast about the Harrison Ford story. If you want to read that or uh, see it in written form, it is on the Patreon page. Uh, and you can find that at patreon.com slash trivia with buds. If you donate a dollar or more, you get access to all the stuff on there. If you ever want to see the details of that again, or you can just listen to this episode. Guys, that is the story. And uh, without any further ado, we're going to jump into 20 questions on Harrison Ford. Here we go again. 
All right, 20 questions on Harrison Ford, the legend. And uh, I didn't mention this in the story previously, but there's I've met famous people before, but there I've never met somebody that famous. He's got to be what top five male recognizable actors in the history of like Hollywood and or modern history, I guess. And uh, I can't describe like how it felt. I like I, I you know like I I don't know. I've, I'm a Harrison Ford fan, but I never thought in a million years I'd like run into him. But there is some crazy star power when you're by somebody that that famous. You're like holy cow, this guy is everyone's childhood that's like my age and and younger uh and a little bit older so it's nuts i just wanted to throw that in there here we go guys harrison ford trivia question number one harrison ford starred in a 2002 movie about a submarine called the widowmaker what letter and number come before the word widowmaker in that movie's title that's question number one what letter and number become before widowmaker in the title number one Question number two, Ford plays Bob Falfa in what George Lucas directed movie from 1973. Number two, Ford plays a character named Bob Falfa in what George Lucas directed movie from 1973. Question number three, in the 1992 movie Patriot Games, Ford took over the role of what Tom Clancy character? Number three, in the 1992 movie Patriot Games, Ford took over the role of what Tom Clancy character? Question number four, Ford starred in the 2011 movie 42, which was about what baseball player? Number four, Ford starred in the 2011 movie 42 about what baseball player? Question number five, Ford reprised his role as Indiana Jones for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. What year did that movie come out? Question number six, for his first uncredited role in a movie, what kind of hotel worker did Ford portray? Number six, for his first uncredited role in a movie, what kind of hotel worker did Ford portray? Question number seven, before his stardom, Ford worked as a carpenter and stagehand for what successful 60s and 70s band? Number seven, what band did he work for in the 60s and 70s? Question number eight, true or false, Han Solo appears in the infamous Star Wars Holiday Special. Is that true or false? Is Han Solo in the infamous CBS aired holiday special for Star Wars? Number eight. Question number nine, Ford allegedly got the role as Indiana Jones because what other mustached actor was not available as George Lucas's first pick? Who is that mustached actor that George Lucas wanted first? Number nine. Question number 10, in the movie Witness, Ford must protect an eight-year-old boy of what background who witnessed a murder? What kind of eight-year-old boy is it? Number 10. Question number 11, in what movie does Ford gruffly announce, get off my plane? Number 11, in what movie does Ford gruffly announce, get off my plane? Question number 12, what actress plays Ford's character's wife in the film What Lies Beneath? Who is the female lead in the film What Lies Beneath? Number 13, in what city does the film The Fugitive take place? Number 13, in what city does the film The Fugitive take place? Question number 14, Harrison Ford supposedly got his ear pierced at age 55 after having lunch with what easygoing musician who also had a pierced ear? Number 14, he got his ear pierced at 55 after having lunch with what easygoing musician who also had a pierced ear? Question number 15, in what Ford film would you hear the quote, it's too bad she won't live, but then again, who does? Number 15, in what Ford film would you hear the quote, it's too bad she won't live, but then again, who does? Number 16, Harrison Ford voices a dog in what recently released animated sequel? What animated sequel could it be? Number 17, Harrison Ford's current wife starred on what Fox series? Number 17, Harrison Ford's current wife starred on what Fox series? Number 
Number 18 in what Star Wars film is Han Solo frozen in carbonite? Number 18 in what Star Wars film is Han Solo frozen in carbonite? And number 19, Ford starred in a sci-fi movie from author Orson Scott Card's novel. What was it? Number 19, what was the name of that sci-fi movie based in the book by Orson Scott Card? And number 20, in what 1998 movie is Ford's character's name Quinn? First name Quinn. What movie is that from 1998? Those are your 20 questions on the legendary actor Harrison Ford. We'll be right back in a second with the answers. All right, guys, here we go with the 20 Harrison Ford questions and their answers. Number one, Harrison Ford starred in a 2002 movie about a submarine called the Widowmaker. What letter and number come before the word Widowmaker in the movie's title? That's called K-19, K-19, The Widowmaker. Number two, Ford plays Bob Falfa in what George Lucas directed movie from 1973? The answer there was American Graffiti. American Graffiti. Number three in the 1992 movie, Patriot Games, Ford took over the role of what Tom Clancy character? The answer was Jack Ryan, who's now covered by John Krasinski on the Amazon series. Number four, Ford starred in the 2011 movie 42 about what baseball player? That player was Jackie Robinson, number 42. Number five, Ford reprised his role as Indiana Jones for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, which I remember seeing in theaters and walking out and going, all right, that was in the year 2008, 2008. Number six, for his first uncredited role in a movie, what kind of hotel worker did Ford portray? He was a bellhop. He was a bellhop. You can imagine him with the little hat on, uh, a bellhop. Number seven, before his stardom, Ford worked as a carpenter and stagehand for what successful 60s, 70s band? You could have maybe guessed this one if you didn't happen to know it, and it was The Doors. He did some uh, stage handing for The Doors. Number eight, true or false, Han Solo appears in the infamous Star Wars holiday special that is true. I think it starts off with him and Chewie, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I have not seen it since I was a kid, though. Number nine, Ford allegedly got the role of Indiana Jones because what other mustached actor was not available as George Lucas's first pick? The answer there was Tom Selleck, Magnum P.I., himself. Can you imagine if uh, Indiana Jones was Tom Selleck? That'd be interesting. Um I guess it would change the whole the whole thing, right? All those movies, there'd be a mustached Indiana Jones. That would be interesting. Number 10, in the movie Witness, Ford must protect an eight-year-old boy of what background who witnesses a murder? He's an Amish boy. An Amish boy witnesses a murder. Number 11, in what movie does Ford gruffly announce, get off my plane? That's Air Force One. That's a great movie. Gary Oldman is the villain who gets, I think, thrown off the plane. Number 12, what actress plays Ford's character's wife in the film What Lies Beneath? Michelle Pfeiffer. This is a cool movie. I've talked about it on the podcast before. Uh, I just thought it was a really well-written and uh, acted movie. And it, I saw it in theaters when it came out in like 2000. And uh, it's randomly written by the actor who plays uh, Agent Coulson on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and in the Avengers movies. Uh, Greg something his name escapes me but uh, he wrote that movie so fun weird piece of trivia for you number 13 in what city does the film the fugitive take place my hometown sweet home Chicago they're running all over the city in that one number 14 Harrison Ford supposedly got his ear pierced at 55 after having lunch with Jimmy Buffett that's the easygoing musician I was looking for Jimmy Buffett they were probably having a cheeseburger in paradise for that lunch. Number 15, in what Ford would you hear, in what Ford film would you hear the quote, it's too bad she won't live, but then again, who does? Blade Runner. Blade Runner has that quote. Number 16, Harrison Ford voices a dog in what recently released animated sequel? The Secret Lives of Pets 2. Secret Lives of Pets 2. Louis C.K., not in that movie. I feel like they cut him out on purpose. Number 17, Harrison Ford's current wife starred on what Fox series? That would be Allie McBeal. Dancing Baby. That's all I remember about that show. Allie McBeal. Number 18 in what Star Wars film is Han Solo frozen in carbonite? That's The Empire Strikes Back. Towards the end, gets shipped off to be a trophy at Jabba's Palace. And uh, I read that um, he, I forgot about the whole scene where Darth Vader was like wanting to freeze Luke, but he tests it on Han Solo instead. I totally forgot about that part until I saw it earlier. Number 19, Ford starred in a sci-fi movie from uh, author Orson Scott Card. What was the name of that book? Ender's Game. Ender's Game. And number 20 in what 1998 movie is Ford's character's name Quinn, one of my mom's favorite movies that she watches on repeat, Six Days, Seven Nights. It's uh, him and Anne Heche, 
and it's sort of a, a vacation adventure movie, um, similar to something like Romancing the Stone, I imagine, if you remember those movies. Um, so that were uh, that was the entire Harrison Ford quiz. How'd you guys do? 20 questions on the big one-year celebration today. Hopefully you learned some stuff or you aced all 20 questions. You can always send me your scorecards. I love seeing those. Um, that lets me know people are having fun with the show, with the content. Uh, you can send those to me any time. Guys, thank you so much for listening to this show for so long. Thanks for telling a friend about it. And right now, it's time to do some listener awards. I've never done this before, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to do. So these are for some key listeners. I have three awards to give away, and each of these uh, individuals will get a $20 Amazon gift card, which I will email them and they can throw on their Amazon account to buy whatever they want. And uh, the first award is called the first Patreon subscriber. And that goes to my friend Alexis Eck. Congratulations, Alexis. She was the very first person who signed up for my Patreon page at patreon.com slash trivia with buds. She actually messaged me uh, while I was in the midst of trying to set up the page. And she said, hey, do you have any kind of like uh, subscription service? I heard you talk about this thing called Budsbox, which I used to do like a year and a half before Patreon, where I'd kind of put together a bunch of curated stuff from friends of mine who are artists and comedians and, and things like that. And she goes, I really like the idea of that. And I said, hey, I'm actually getting ready to set up this page right now. And she was, lo and behold, the first person who ever signed up for it. So Alexis, you're going to get a little special extra reward coming up later today in your email. So look for the code for your $20 Amazon gift card. And thank you for your patronage for over a year. I really appreciate it. Uh, next up is the biggest contributor to the show. And that $20 gift card is going to my friend, Luke McKay. Congratulations, Luke. Luke is uh, a big fan of trivia. He's great at writing questions and coming up with content. And he always sends me stuff. He actually just sent me something earlier today. And he had no idea I was going to say, hey, Luke, here's a $20 gift card. So <laughs> thank you so much, buddy. Uh, he listens from Australia. He loves trivia. He's been on the show a few times. And uh, he emails me week after week with tons of cool rounds. A very close second to this. Uh, contributing award would be my friend Brian Salyer in Redlands. And uh, Brian, you're right up there, but I think Luke was doing it just a little bit before you were. And uh, I appreciate all of the contributions to this show. So thank you, thank you, thank you. When you guys send me questions, it gives me a little less work to do, and they're fun for me to read or figure out or uh, quiz a friend with. And uh, it's tons of fun, and it's very valuable to me. So thank you, thank you for doing that. And congratulations, Luke, on the Biggest Contributor Award. Uh, the last award I'm going to give away is called the Longest Live Player, who is also a Patreon subscriber. So this goes to the person who plays my live trivia nights in Southern California uh, consistently and is also a Patreon subscriber. So they're doing double duty in terms of being a fan of what I do. And that is Mr. Alex DeSmet. Alex, well done, sir. You've been a Patreon subscriber, I think, just a few days after Alexis. So you are very close to being one of my longest running subscribers. And you've been playing trivia with me for uh, two and a half years, maybe going on three years. And I sincerely appreciate it. Alex always brings his family and uh, his mom and his dad and his wife out to play. And they always have a great time. And I have not seen them in a bit but I will see them very soon. So congratulations, Alex. Alexis, Alex, and Luke, you guys will get some gift cards and everybody else who makes this show what it is by listening to it every day and supporting it. Thank you so much. I, uh, I couldn't do it without you. And if I didn't see the numbers that I see every day, there probably would have been some point where I'm like, ah, I'm not going to do this every day. Maybe this was too much. But uh, those numbers just keep going up and they motivate me to keep coming up with content for you guys to listen to. So thank you so much for every email. Thank you for every subscriber, including Manny Majerian, Alexis Eck, Alex DeSmet, Sarah McKevitz, Simon Time, Jess Whitener, Jen Wojnar, Kyle Bonin, Douglas French, Erica Cooper, Fiona Neville, Brenda Martinez, Russ Friedewald, Luke McKay, Wreck My Podcast, Dan Papalo, Greg Hines, Mo Martinez, Lauren Ward, Sarah Kay, Jim Fields, Mona Bray, Sweet Abby Cakes, Denise Leonard, Anna Evans, Megan Acuna, Katie Smith, Brian Salyer, Greg Bristow, Joe Jermalowitz, Joey Mucha, and Casey Becker. You guys are awesome. And thank you so much to all the listeners of this show who dig it, who tell a friend about it, and share 
those episodes. We're not going to do a uh, sponsored question of the day today, but that'll be back tomorrow for the big question of the day, sponsored by Funky Monkey Designs. So stay tuned for that. We'll also be talking about my big cluster fest weekend tomorrow in San Francisco. I got to walk through the Seinfeld set, the office from the office, and I got to host Drunk History Trivia with the host of Drunk History, Derek Waters. So stick around for all kinds of fun stories and info from that trip on tomorrow's episode. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you tomorrow and every day for another year on the Trivia with Buds podcast. Cheers.